now a widower. He's retired, but he still loves ballroom dancing. And, and this is Pat or Peg, as he likes to call her. You know, she actually went on to make a career as a dancing instructress. You see, they met when they were 22 years old, and in three years, they'd both fallen in love with dancing and each other. <laughs> but you see, the Second World War came along and they got separated, and it would be 40 years before they'd be reunited. the war, Bert went on and he got married and went and had a short holiday in Queensland and then settled down into ordinary family life. After the war, Peg, she married an American serviceman and went to America for a short time. It was only meant to be a year, but she ended up staying for three years. But she got homesick and eventually she came home. Over the next 40 years, their paths would cross many, many times. I mean, for example, they, they used to even catch the same train sometimes, he in one carriage and she in another. They were members of the same clubs. They just went on different nights. Yeah, they even lived just a few kilometers away from each other and shared the same shopping center. And yet, they never ran into each other. up for the second time well I was at work as my retirement was coming up mm -hmm. the girls called me down to the radio and said that they wanted me around there something was happening and it appeared that they had been in contact with the local radio personality and he was going to give me a call on my retirement oh, which was very nice yeah. uh, just after this radio call came through the phone rang and one of the girls came to me and said there's a lady on the phone said she used to dance with you Peggy Harmon yeah. I answered the phone Peg said, you wouldn't remember me. My name is Peggy Harmon. I said, of course I do. Who'd forget? Yeah. And we spoke there, and she told me she'd lost her husband. Mm -hmm. And little did I realise, in less than 12 months' time, I too would lose my partner in life. Yeah. And we decided we'd get together sometime and have a talk. How did you feel before that very first second meeting? Like a 16-year-old getting yeah. ready for the first date. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Yeah. It's, it's been great ever since. It's really like a, a full-on Romeo and Juliet romance. Well, we like to think that we, we, we're in love, and we always have been, I think. And so now you live happily ever after? We, we hope so, yes. Sure, yeah. Yes, as far as we can see, it's a rosy future. Yeah.